Ireland, along with many other countries in the world, has a budding dairy industry. Our climate is perfectly suited to dairy production because it is ideal for growing grass and fodder crops. Virtually every part of the country has its own particular version of a dairy landscape. Our people take pride in the industry and we are passionate about farming. Having a highly skilled workforce ensures high standards of quality and production. The cooperative sector is constantly evolving and we are always searching for new opportunities, new growth platforms and new innovations to remain sustainable. Today, cooperatives are needed more than ever to help find solutions to common problems such as poverty, inequality and sustainable humanity. It is the need to ensure sustainable cooperatives for the future that is the driving force behind the development of the LEAD Farm Project. The LEAD Farm Project is funded through Erasmus Plus and there are five countries involved in the project. These are France, Ireland, Latvia, Spain and Sweden. You will now hear from each of the five partners. Hi, my name is Martin Keane and I'm President of ICOS. ICOS is the umbrella organisation for the co-op movement in Ireland. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you and to tell you why the Lean Farm project is so important to us. Our generation and previous generations have contributed hugely to the building of huge businesses uh, run by co-ops across Ireland and indeed across Europe. We have some great young people behind us but the problem is, as I see it, is we don't we do not have enough of young people involved. We need uh, to get new, young people involved not only in farming but indeed uh, in their cooperatives and the co-op movement in general. The project, the Lean Farm project, is a pan-European project uh, ch charged with the task of identifying the problems and bringing forward some positive solutions. We need to positively promote and encourage the participation of the next generation uh, to be involved in farming and involved in their cooperatives. We need also to address the gender balance as well as the generational imbalance that exists today. The cooperative structures have served the farming businesses and businesses across Europe hugely over, over the decades. We need now to develop, to promote, to encourage the next generation of leaders, the next generation of farmers to become involved. And that is why this project is so important to all of us. Bonjour, I am Adrien Nisset from SCDF, Service Coop de France, the Union of Agricultural Cooperatives in France. French cooperatives are similar to cooperatives in Ireland and we face similar challenges in attracting young farmers to get involved in our cooperatives. This is why we have partnered with ICOS on the Lead Farm project. Our area of collaboration in the project will be in the development of training materials aimed at supporting farmers in the management of their farm business and at understanding the cultures and value of the cooperative sectors. Additionally, we will be developing an e-learning platform to support a blended learning approach for both young farmers, but also to support trainers in the cooperative sectors with the relevant resources for educating young farmers. I'm Elina Ozola from Latvian Rural Advisory and Training Center based in Ozolniecki in Latvia. Our center focuses on um, development of rural enterprises and many of our members are active in agricultural, forestry, fisheries and other fields on, uh, of rural businesses, including cooperation and social enterprises. Latvian farmers slowly change approach to farming to collective thinking and cooperation. Also, we have to face many challenges to in attracting the next generation of leaders into the cooperative structures. And for this reason, we have partnered together with our European partners 
in the lead farm project. Our core area of expertise in education is in the skills developed of young farmers, in training and supporting organizations in rural development, and the understanding of the culture, culture and values of the cooperative sector. We will be collaborate on the development of training materials and best practices approach to get young farmers to participate in their local cooperatives. Hola, I am Loli Cousa from Agaraca, the Galician Association of Agri-Food Cooperatives in Spain. The cooperative sector in Spain is very similar to the cooperatives in Ireland, as our cooperatives are also mainly agricultural cooperatives operating in the dairy, livestock and food sectors. We face very similar challenges in our sector, but one of the biggest challenges is uh, attracting younger farmers to get involved in the cooperative structures. This is why we have partnered with ICOS on the Lead Farm project. Our area of collaboration in the project will be in the development of the training materials, aimed specifically at supporting the farmers in the management of their farm business and at understanding the culture and values of the cooperative sector including member engagement and leadership roles between cooperatives. Hi, I'm Anders Peterson. I work at Changemaker in Stockholm and Gothenburg, Sweden. We live in a complicated world. The only thing we can be sure of is that it changes. Uh, my company are an innovation company that supports people who want to do change and be in charge of change. Uh, we are in this case supporting green cooperatives in Sweden. We're helping them to see new perspectives, take charge of changes and find smart solutions to problems. In this project, the Lead Farm project, Changemaker is supporting the development of six cooperative games which will highlight participation in green cooperatives especially to try to get young people to work in cooperatives and start cooperatives especially young women the lead farm project is interesting especially its intercultural collaborations meeting people and enterprises with similar changes trying together to come up with smart solutions. Shortly, we're really looking forward to work together with you as a partner in the Lead Farm project. See you soon.